a lot of us put undue stress and undue trauma on ourselves because we go into situations expecting people to treat us the way we treat them. If you know that people ain't perfect, why do you still have a grudge against somebody that hurt you in your past? Why you still hate them? Why are you still disappointed by somebody not treating you the way you would have treated them? Why? I'll tell you why. It's because your expectations was that this person should care enough about you and the relationship that they have with you to treat you the same way you would treat them. But this is what you got to understand. These people don't have the same principles and morals that you do. They ain't got the same background that you got. They ain't been through the same things you've been through. They ain't been uh, loved the same way you've been loved. Their financial situation ain't the same as yours. People got their own motivations in life. People got their own things that they're dealing with. So how can you expect somebody to be a mirror reflection of you? I just want to tell y'all this, man. I had to learn this jump the hard way. I done had people in my past, like people that I really loved and cared for. I would have risked it all for. Even homeboys when I was in the streets. I got I had certain homeboys that I would risk my freedom for. Only to find out that they're trying to holler at my girl behind my back. Only to find out every time I uh had dealings with a certain chick, they'll try to back door me and double back on me and everything else and see if they can holler at the girl. <laughs> I done had people do all kind of stuff that's underhanded. You know what I'm saying? Talk about me behind my back. All kind of stuff. Women done cheated on me in the past. All of that. And it hurt at the time. But it's because I didn't realize this key thing that I'm telling y'all right now. Those people are not obligated to treat me the way I treat them. I'm a good guy. I go out of my way to be a good guy. I've done a lot of work on myself to become the person that I am today. It was a point of time where I wasn't necessarily such a good person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be a good guy. I'm gonna treat everybody the way I treat them because I just it's too hard for me to be nasty and, and angry and bitter and Oh, I don't trust you, so I'm going to keep you at... Of course, yeah, if it's certain people that that are completely not right for you and, and can't be in your life, then yeah, you got to set up those boundaries. But for the people that are in your life, I don't have time to be sitting around here trying to play defense all the time. That's the reason why if I can't be who I am around you, then you can't be around me. And then for the people that I do come into contact with, I understand that I can trust you. I can trust them. 100%. I can trust them to be who they are in their heart. I can trust them to look out for their own interests. So that because, of that, because I know that, it don't hurt me when somebody do something that kind of like shades me and put them... In a, in a position that they want to be in. People going to look out for themselves at the end of the day. That's what I expect. That's the only thing I expect. I don't expect perfection out of people because I know people are imperfect. And that's all that's to it. A lot of us put undue stress and undue trauma on ourselves because we go into situations expecting people to treat us the way we treat them. If you're a good person, just be a good person. If somebody do you wrong, cut them off. And you understand, you know, hey, it happens. Some people ain't got good home training. Some people ain't grow up the kind of the way that I grew up. And because of that, they can't operate on the frequency that I operate on. And that's cool. I just know that I can't put my trust in you the next time. I can't expect you to do what I need you to do the next time. You taught me a valuable lesson. You're perfect. You reminded me about that. I already knew that, but I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you for showing me that I made a mistake and I won't do it no more. 
Simple as that. I ain't got time to be running around here acting bitter because somebody tried me back in the day. I ain't got time to be acting bitter because a woman cheated on me and not because a woman cheated on me when I was what, in my early 20s or something. I'm 30 now. Now I'm going to take that hurt out and that pain out on my fiance. Now I'm going to treat every woman that I ever came across in my, you know, up after that point. I'm going to be mad and angry and bitter towards them. Now I'm going to be good to them the same way I was good to the other ones. And if they do me wrong, guess what? It's they lost because I'm a solid individual. I know it ain't many solid individuals out here. It's just the way it is. It, it is what it is. So... I just want to tell y'all, man, nobody is perfect under God. God is the only perfect thing in existence. We all know this. We know that we're not perfect. I know for a fact I ain't perfect. I got things I work on to this day. And I'm sure you do too. So stop carrying that hurt and that pain. Realize that it was your expectations that got you hurt. You expected perfection out of an imperfect person. Now that you know what they expect from now on, you you should you should expect imperfection out of people. So when somebody's imperfect, it shouldn't bother you as much. You know, you're human too, so yeah, you can't mask your feelings all the way, but at the same time, don't let it have you down and out for too long because you know people are imperfect. And you got to come to terms with that. It is what it is. That's all I got to say about that, man. I'm going to go and cut the video off right here. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. And I'll see y'all on the next one.